Hello, in this video, we will explain term-wise computer science syllabus for CBSE class 12 for 2022 exam. In our last video, we explained the assessment scheme that CBSE is going to use this year. If you have not watched the video, you can watch it in the link below. Basically, to summarize, instead of one board exam, there are going to be two exams one in November-December and other in March-April next year with 50% syllabus each. Term 1 exam will be held in your school and Term 2 exam will happen in centres assigned by the board. Term 1 exam will be of 90 minutes and will have only MCQ questions. Term 2 exam will be of 120 minutes with proper written paper including short and long answers as well. Term 1 exam can be evaluated at school as well, but Term 2 exam will be checked by the board. Along with this, they have given Plan A, Plan B, Plan C to list out how exams will be conducted if they are impacted due to COVID. From the syllabus perspective, one important declaration is that they have decided to rationalize or reduce the syllabus like they had done last year. So let's take a look at the syllabus. Now before COVID, the class 12 computer science syllabus was divided into these four units. Computational Thinking and Programming 2, which is Python programming for 30 marks, Computer Networks for 15 marks, Database Management for 15 marks, and Society Law and Ethics for 10 marks, totaling to 70 marks of theory and then 30 marks of practical. Last year, during syllabus reduction, syllabus was cut from all units and society law and ethics unit was dropped completely. Due to this, marks distribution changed. Python programming became for 40 marks, computer network 10 marks and database management 20 marks. This year also there is no unit 4 and the remaining syllabus is divided into two terms of 35-35 each. Majority of computational thinking and programming goes to term 1 and small part of it plus computer network and database management goes to term 2 exam. Now let's see term wise syllabus in detail. In term 1, there is 35 marks of computational thinking and programming or Python programming. Here there is no change in initial sections of functions and file handling section. Recursion and idea of efficiency was cut off last year itself. This year they have removed Python library too. However, do note the library classes which you have learnt in class 11 like random statistics are still in syllabus. The topic of data structures has been moved to term 2. So in term 1, you only have to focus on studying Python. Now let's see term 2 syllabus. There is 5 marks of Python programming in Term 2. This includes data structures. In it, there is only stack operation. Remaining all is removed. Let's now take a look at computer networks. Last year, they cut a major part from here, wherein web scripting and web 2.0 and e-commerce payment transactions etc. were removed. This year, they have removed the whole wireless and mobile technologies and have also removed network security concept which was included in last time. In database management, last year the data manipulation language or DML commands were removed but this year all DML commands like SQL create database, create table, drop table, alter table or update insert and delete commands are all included. Now let's see how the question paper would be structured. Last year, CBSE had changed the question paper format and it was divided into two parts, part A and part B. Part A was one mark MCQs with case study based questions and part B was descriptive, short and long answer questions. So for term 1, what we can expect is that the part B is completely gone and your paper will have 35 marks of part A only with some open MCQ questions where you will have options to choose the questions to attempt. 
then there would be four to five case studies where in each case study you can attempt four out of five questions. So this is roughly how your question paper will look like. Now how will this case study look like? CPSC has shared sample question bank where the case study is presented as incomplete piece of code and questions are around missing statements to complete it or explain how certain commands work. So the key takeaway over here is that you still need to learn programming even though the question paper is of MCQ format. Now let's see how to prepare for the term 1 exam. Since there is only Python programming, let's do one more level of drill down over here to check as to how the 35 marks would be roughly distributed to various chapters. Here around 15 marks would be from class 11 syllabus. These questions will be on testing the basics like identifying the right tokens, operators, print statement, etc. Finding the errors, predicting the output kind of questions. They will check if you understand how to use string, list, tuples and dictionaries, especially their functions. You can also expect MCQs on libraries and if you know how to use math, random or statistics library, you have learnt in class 11. So revising on Python basics from class 11 should be the first thing you should target. From class 12 syllabus, you can expect MCQs but definitely one case study each on functions, text files, binary files and CSV files. Here you should pick up file handling next, covering text file, binary file and CSV file. In all of these, there are some standard programs which you can practice and get the basics. Functions I am keeping for last. It is an easy topic but there is no prediction on what kind of program they can give on it. It can be something very simple or difficult and there are quite a few of them you need to cover. Here go over all the programs you have learnt in 11th as it can be any loop program on series, patterns or paired with usage of list, tuple or dictionary. So this summarizes the syllabus, term 1 paper format and your study plan. If you follow this, you can easily score 95 plus marks. If you still have any doubts, you can join us for online or offline classes at simplycoding.in. Thank you and all the best.